Welcome everyone. Um, I feel kind of, yeah, thrown to be here because I just feel so moved by what we've heard tonight. Um, and I don't know, yeah, uh, like Raisa said, I'm from Leeds and I'm just kind of sitting here thinking about my people in Leeds and, you know, like the, the communities I want to hold and that kind of thing. Um, and actually the, the first poem I'm going to do kind of speaks to that. Um, and it was, it's about a conversation that I have with someone, and we're friends now, but this was the first conversation we had, and it's kind of about these feelings, I guess. Um, he asks me if I know what this word means. Pichale. Wretched. He says, we are. And by we, he means two adult children in brown bodies not meant for cloudy islands. By we, he means the accident of forgetting to go home. Thinking you had one, staying too many nights, out too late, forgetting where from was. The Jagger. He says it the way you console a grieving mother who lost something she can't remember to men who hailed from rainy places and took the sun. The Jagger. He says it the way you kiss out of pity like his lips are neither healing nor empty. I wonder if we are wretched. Google says bay, meaning without, jara, option, choice, alternative. I think about the choices I never made to be here and other people's bending knees. I think about spaces that swallow you and vomit you at the same time. I think about racist graffiti that appears overnight, bands which say you are not welcome in this place, you never chose to come but need to stay. But jara. He says it with a golden blue smile, and later I tell him he has the archetypal terrorist look and sometimes I can't breathe because people already know me. The shower water licks my back like flames and somehow the idea of drowning whilst burning is too apt. So when he asks me if I know what this word means, Bajado, I say no, just to hear him say it just to hear him tell me that we are.